Okay, if a dog has stopped breathing, unfortunate uh, catastrophic event that may happen, if you have to try to perform CPR, just like in people, the mainstay are chest compressions. Uh, make sure the airway is clear, of course, and the dog is, should not be breathing. Don't ever get yourself to the point where you're, you're gonna be bitten. You shouldn't do chest compression. The dog is non-responsive, and is basically not breathing and has no heartbeat. If you perform chest compressions, act quickly but steadily. You try to find the area where the heart would be, pull the elbow back where it hits the chest. That's probably where the heart's going to be. And you do your chest compressions firmly and not too fast and not too slow. And you don't stop for at least five minutes. And the good uh, rule of thumb is sing the song, staying alive. So it's ah, 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 staying alive and just keep doing it. Someone should be trying to get you to a veterinarian, but in the meantime, you can try doing this. Do it for five full minutes by the clock. A small breed or a large breed, you have to use more effort. He's a pretty big dog, so you have to really go into it. After five minutes, if there's no response, you can't feel a heartbeat, there's no breathing, you can do another cycle. It becomes less successful with each cycle, you can do up to three cycles. The chance of resuscitating a dog is very, very low, but you should never give up.